Hey Aries, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for, uh, it's a June bonus, bonus for June. We're going to see what we have going on here for you, Aries, see what we get. Uh, any information you need, you can find it down below in the description box. I do have a deal going on right now for personals, so all that information is down there, Aries. It looks like you could be trying to get something off the ground here and there's some conflict with it, like there are people who are like stopping it or they're getting in the way, or maybe this could just be some discouraging energy coming from people. It looks like it could be family with the Ten of Pentacles here. It doesn't have to be. Um, but the Fool can represent somebody who is very unique. I feel like whatever you're trying to do here is not normal, but I feel like it would definitely yield results. However, you know, I think there would be some challenges with it. What's going on with this? Because the Five of Wands is here. It's saying that, that something is challenging to get started here. Three of Cups, Queen of Swords. There's a lot of judgment coming your way. Like, I feel like this is something that would make you very happy. Like, there are definitely um, some not-so-great energies around you, though. All right? Seven of Wands, like, people, like, trying to stop you from doing something. Um, so, the Three of Cups, the uh, Queen of Swords. It could be a Libra involved here or a Leo. I feel like there's more than one person, if I'm being honest, though. That Five of Wands energy and now the Three of Cups. I just don't like it. But this is a victory. Um... It can also be movement. Some of you, there's like family here who doesn't want you to move. Others of you, there's family who may have trouble, um, you know, having success. Or this could be a partner or a friend. But, you know, the Ten of Pentacles feels like something that is very cemented. So it could definitely be family for some of you here. This is something that would bring you a lot of financial success, make you very happy. But for some of you, someone either does not want you to move. Um... Like, this is not a normal, healthy relationship here at all. I feel like somebody could, uh, like, not want you to pick up on that. Like, they're trying to come through with somebody who's very supportive and just afraid that you're going to encounter challenges and things of that nature. Some of you, they're just afraid that you're going to encounter success, all right, and that they won't get a part of this. They won't get a chunk of those pinnacles. Others of you, they're afraid that you're going to be moving away from them, separating yourself from them, and it could have something to do uh, with money. Maybe they rely on you for money on some level here. And last, for a small portion of you, there is someone here, a Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, Libra. There's someone here who you could still be, um, how do I describe that here, in contact with and that you used to be in a relationship with or in a connection with. And they're picking up on the fact that you could be about to... Um, you know, commit to someone new here and they're, they're going to be cut out and they know that here, Aries. So that's something else that I'm sensing. So I'm seeing that energy. Watch out. People getting in the way. I feel like you're going to be seeing why they're in the way here very soon. If you didn't see it from this reading already, you're definitely going to be getting those red flags. So that's what I'm getting. Um, I hope this was helpful. There are details down below for anybody who's interested in joining me on Patreon or Instagram, or if you want to check out the deal I have on personals, everything's down there. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate you and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.